Hey guys, welcome back. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. Leave me down a comment down below what you want to see next. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So the time lapse you've just seen is me doing this makeup. Um it took a long time <laughs> so I'm just glad I got it on time lapse because um I didn't I just do I did talk about everything I'm gonna say but then I kinda gave up and I was just like yeah I'm just gonna focus on the makeup because I find it hard to talk and do makeup and read at the same time. So everything I said on time lapse well and more I'm gonna say now. So as you can tell the title of the video I'm talking about who Mary Pitford is. And the reason I'm looking down is because I've made lots of notes. <gasps> Wait, I've messed it up. Okay, it's cool. I thought it was got the wrong order. I'm going to be professional. <laughs> okay, so who is Mary Pickford? We're going to jump into it. Mary Pickford was a Canadian actress but her real name was actually Gladys Louise Smith. She was born on April 8th 1892 in Toronto, Canada. That's why she's Canadian because she was born in Canada. Wait a damn minute. She died May the 29th 1927 but we'll talk about that later on. Who are her parents? I couldn't really find much information about her parents or her kids. I got their names, but I couldn't find much information. And I don't think it was really important about her parents or her kids, to be honest. But, you know, I thought I'd include who her parents are and who her kids are, just in case you guys were curious. So her parent, her mum's name was Elise, or Elsie, I'm not quite sure. Charlotte Hennessy and her father was John Charles Sorry guys, my camera just died so it's on charge currently. So as I was saying, her father was John Charles Smith. I couldn't really find out uh, what her father done for a living, but I found out uh, that her mum was an actress. I'm not sure if she was in films or just theatre, but she was an actress. So she had lots of nicknames, what she got called. I found five of them. And they're, they're kind of all roughly the same, but I'm going to tell you the ones I found anyway. Also, I found out tons of information of her, about her, and her life and that. But I only chose like a few key points, because I didn't want to overload you guys. But if you would like me to do part two, I am more than happy to find out more facts about this amazing lady. Okay, on to her nicknames. I probably should have said that at the start of the video. At least I've said it though. Technically still. Anyway, <laughs> so the names I found was the girl with golden hair, because I'm assuming she was blonde. I couldn't really find any coloured photos of her. She was American sweetheart, even though she was Canadian. Now that I think of it, why would... Mm, if you guys know, please let me know. Canadian sweetheart. No, it's, it makes more sense American. I don't know. Anywho... Goldilocks, the girl with curls, and little Mary. Just remember, her real name's Gladys. She changed it, and you're going to find out why in a minute. So, about her career. She started theatre at age seven, and I kind of figured out this was 1889. I ain't good at maths, so I could be wrong. But she was born in 1892. I'm not sure if this is accurate, but I figured out that she done theatre for 10 years she started 1889 then in 1908 her stage manager David Belowski 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 I don't know if you know then you know I don't know how to pronounce it Made her change her name from Gladys Louise Smith to Mary Pickford. 
because her name wasn't suitable for a stage actress in his personal opinion see i don't know how the conversation went down i, I don't know i think it's probably like hey guardians can i have a con word with you and she's probably like yeah sure yeah i don't like your name so we're gonna change it to mary pickford and she's probably like okay cool i wonder how i wonder what that conversation was like in 1909, so a year later, after changing her name, she, she was like, bye to the theatre and went into movies. Bye! Thanks for having me. I'm going to go and join movies now. I couldn't actually find out what theatre she... I don't want to say worked at, but she kind of performed. Would that be the word? Performed at? I don't know. So in 1909, she started making films with a director called D.W. Griff. D.W. Name from my childhood. Arthur, if you know what I'm on about. The company she worked with, or like the director's company more like, was American Mutoscope Biograph. In 1911, so two years later after joining... D.W. Griff at American Musiscope Biograph. She was like, peace out lads, gotta go. Then she left American Musiscope Biograph and joined IMP, I-M-P, IMP Film Co. She was only there for a year and she moved there to make more money. I couldn't really find out how much money she was making. But I don't think it's that important. She left to make more money and that's what she did. So then in a so a year later, 1912, she rejoined D.W. Griff. Remember his name, he's very important actually, I forgot to mention that. And she was like, bye Imp, Film Co and hello American Mutoscope again. So in 1918, so seven years after she uh, was in films, she went on her first exhibit circuit. I couldn't really find out what that meant. Mean, meant. I think it, I assume it just means like she went and done like acting and that. In 1919, so a year later, she co founded a, like a, I don't know what to call it, like a production called United Artists, and this was with her ex, I don't even know if it's called ex, but like her manager, the director D.W. Griff, remember that lad? Yes. Charlie Chaplin, that's the. The actor with a little stashy and her future husband Douglas Fairbanks remember him but we'll talk about him in a minute her first silent film was Kue 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 in 1992 I believe I may have got that fact wrong and her lot I can't it's spelled C O C Q U E T T E. If you know what that word is, then great. Her silent film was my best. Her last silent. Her last silent film was my best girl in nineteen twenty seven. So she had three marriages, but only two divorces. I feel like a T channel. Her first marriage was on the seventh of January in nineteen eleven to Mister Owen Moore. Um, they got divorced on March the 2nd in 1920. Good old 20s, roaring 20s. So they was only together nine years, which doesn't seem, like, seems a lot. But I don't think it really is a lot when you're married. I don't, I don't know, because I've never been married. So that might be, like, a very long time. <laughs> but I don't know. I ain't never going to get married, let's be honest. Anywho... They got a divorce on March the 2nd of 1920 due to fraud. Due to Mr. Owen Morse over here. Causing fraud. I, I couldn't really find out what a fraud, but it's fraud, so it's like fraud is fraud, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Her second marriage was to Douglas Fairbanks. Remember him? We just mentioned him. And that was on. They got married on March the 28th in 1920. Only a couple weeks after, to be precise, 26 days after, she got a divorce from Mr. Owen Moores. 
So I don't know if them two were kissing. I don't know what they were doing. I weren't there. But only 26 days after her first divorce, this girl moves on quick. I, I don't know. Maybe that was normal back in them days. I don't know. Who am I to judge? <laughs> anyway, they got they got married. Um, and he was having an affair with a lady called Sylvia. Oh dear. I didn't find out when they got a divorce. Hold on. So I've just Googled it and it turns out it was in 1936 they got a divorce. So they were together for 16 years. Her last and final marriage was to Mr. Charles Roger. And they got married on the 24th of June, 1937. So again, damn, this girl moves on quick. She's like, hello, man. Divorce. Okay, 26 days later. Hello, new man. But this time she waited a year. So, still pretty quick if you ask my opinion. 16 years of marriage and ciao adios. Oh. Oh. So she has two ch children. That I, she may have had more, but I only found out about, about two. So she had a daughter and a son with Mr. Charles Rogers, her last husband. Her son was called Ronald Charles Rogers, a.k.a. Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie. He was born the 12th of May 1937. And he died, age 73, on the 16th of January, 2010. I don't know if this is accurate, but that's what I found. So, like I said, don't take anything I say as a fact, unless you can prove it's a fact. And her, his sister was born on 18th of August, 1944. Died, age 58, on the 17th of August, 2007. Oh, so she would have been 59 if this is accurate. See, I found so many websites with uh, similar information on different dates. So it's like, I just went with the average date, what they roughly said. So she had a good relationship with her children. Up until Mrs. Roxy over here. I'm, even though it's Roxanne, I'm going to call her Roxy. At age 18, ran away with a man to marry him. That, and they're both her parents didn't approve of him. I think we've all done that, haven't we? We've all run away with men and got married. So, we're coming to the end of this video now. I have about her death. So, the, I have two, three things to talk about now. Her death. Uh, what United Artists are and some fun facts. So, I'll do her death first. Then... What United Artists are than the fun facts. The fun facts are supposed to be before the United Artists, but I think we should end on that. She died on May the 29th on the... May 29th in... In... Not on. In 1979 in Santa Monica, California, USA. She died in hospital from a cerebral hemorrhage. And she's buried in garden in Garden of Memory at Forest Lawn Memorial 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 Park in Glendale, California, USA. So, she died. Sad. That's very sad. Actually, she. I could. I don't know how old was she when she died. Actually, so what United Artists are? It's a company. I said it was a company, but I think it's more like a production. But a company that produced most of the pictures that I done it. Produced most of the pictures. When I make, when I say, I'm literally just reading off my notes. It makes no sense to me. So I'm just gonna say what I think it was. I must try to put. I ain't good with my words. So it's like a company or an organisation that makes films that go in the cinema. They done it because they wanted to have freedom in making and releasing movies. Because obviously you have to go to people like directors and stuff like that to make certain movies and if it's not approved you can't have that movie so there's like hey like we're artists like we should do what we want to do dudes like yeah i think this fit i feel like the i think this organization is still going correct me if i'm wrong 
probably am wrong here. When I was Googling it, uh, Sylvester Stallone, you know, the one that, yeah, that dude, um, was, like, I, I typed in, like, United Artists, and it come up with all these films, like, modern films and stuff, so I think it's still going. I probably should have looked into that, actually. Damn it. Anyway, it was the first company that was run by artists and not by a businessman, or woman. Actually, it's man, because it's 19... 20, so I be men, women, dinner. Yeah, just to me. So the founders were Mary Pickford, like I said, Charlie Chaplin, Douglas Fairbanks, her ex-husband. The one that cheated on her was Sylvia. I hope she was worth it. And D.W. Griff, her um, director man. So the headquarters was in Beverly Hills, California. I feel like California and like Hollywood are like the classic places. Other than Florida, but like nothing happens in Florida. So I found five of her films. A Good Little Devil, which was 1913. The Poor Little Rich Girl, 1917. Sparrows, which was in 1926. Cinderella, 1914. And Little Annie Rooney, 1925. I actually found a clip of both of them, I believe. I can't quite remember. Anyway, to finish this awesome video, I found one, two, wait, I'm on the wrong page here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right, three, six, nine facts about her. She was the first actress to receive a percentage of a film's earnings. She was named number 24 on the American Film Institute, 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 in. Institute, Institute, 50, right, fact number two, was named number 24 on the American Film Institute, 50th Greatest Screen Legends, why did I have to say it like that, ah. awarded a star on the Walk of Fame at Hollywood, Boulevard, 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 isn't that a TikToker, Geordie Boulevard, Love him. In California on February the 8th, 1960. She got her own walk of fame. She became an American citizen due to her marriage to her ex husband, Douglas Fairbanks. Also, the one who she stuck, uh, done the um, United Artists with. And the one that cheated on her was Sylvia. I feel like it's always Sylvia. <laughs> Yeah, um, she reclaimed her American citizenship after she divorced him, but she died. Um, American Canadian citizen. <gasps> That's why she was American sweetheart. I see. I see now. Do you remember my? Do you remember I said she was really short? I think, I don't think I've said that, but she was really short. She was only five foot. So my friend Sophie, if you know Sophie Han, she has a YouTube channel. Go check her out. She's five four, and she comes to about here on me. <gasps> I mean, she was up to my, oh my God, she was tiny. I could have put her in my pocket. <laughs> she wanted all of, like this, this one was like, what? She wanted all of her films destroyed once she died. And she didn't think anyone would care, but she was encouraged not to do so. Imagine that, like, you'd done, she'd done 51 films. That was my next fact, actually. She'd done 51 films that I, that I felt could find on Google. But I don't want to, like, list it, sit, every, sit here and list every single one. Her mum was also an actress, like I said, but imagine that, 51 films, and he was like, yeah, delete them or destroy them, like, no one's ever going to see them again, like, you okay? What's wrong, honey? Did someone hurt you? 
She made films for 20 years from... No, it was over 20 years. She It's just an me. I don't know why I put 20 years. Because she started making films in 1909 and her, and her last film was 1944. Like, she doesn't film, it's a good... I know she's been like around, she was like around for like 30, 40 years. Anyway, I'm tired. It's like, <laughs> it's eight o'clock. I've been, st I've been doing this all day. Like the amount of retakes I've had to do. I've had enough to be quite honest. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. And leave me down a comment. Do you want part two? Would you like to know more about her? Bye, guys.